Hello again and welcome to Virtual Crafts. In this video, I'll explain how we can create multi-step forms using Elementor. The form widget of Elementor is the widget of Elementor Pro. I have already created a video now you can download and use Elementor Pro for free without purchasing. If you have not seen that video, you'll find the link in description. I also have another video in which I explained how we can create single step forms using Elementor Forms widget. You can have a look at that too, you'll find the link in description. Now this video will be about how we can create multi-step forms using Elementor Forms widget. I have already mentioned in uh, my previous videos that forms play a very vital role in converting sales to your website. As forms are an interactive element, they are used to interact to your users or your clients if you're using an e-commerce store. The more elegant and appealing a form is, the more sales you'll be converting to your website. So if you're designing a website for your business or even if you're designing it for a client, do spend some time while designing the form. A study shows that using multi-step forms you can convert 40% more sales than using a single step form. So let's get started to see how we can create multi-step forms using Elementor Pro Forms widget. I'll edit my page with Elementor. Okay, I'm in my Elementor editor. Now this is my home page but let's add the form here. I'll add a new section here. Search for the widget form. This is our widget. I'll drag it to the content area. Let me add a heading above it. I'll add a new section and copy this heading and paste it here. I'll increase the padding both top and bottom and I'll change the text to leave a message. Okay, so this is our form initially. These are the fields we currently have. I'll rename my form to contact form. Let me quickly create the fields first that I want to have and then we'll move towards steps. I'll duplicate the name field and let me change the first one to first name. I'll use the same placeholder as well. And let's change the second one to last name. and the same placeholder. Okay, let's say in the first step we want to have only these two fields. We want to ask only the user's name in our first step of the form. So to add the step, I'll click this add item button. And here I'll change the type of the field from text to step. And you'll see that the layout of the form is changed. We have this first step here and the send button is changed to next. Now as I want to have only these two fields in my first step, I'll drag this step field below these two fields. And you'll see that in our first step, we only have these two fields. Now I'll have to rename my first step. I'll expand this item one. I'll rename it to basic information. And you'll see that the name of the step is updated. I'll collapse this field. And let's say in our second step, we want to ask the user for their contact details which will have an email and a phone number. I'll add a new item and change the type from text to tell. This will be a phone number. I'll change the label to phone and same with the placeholder. Okay, we have a new field. I'll drag it above here. And let's say in our second step, we want to have these two fields. I'll add a new item and change the type from text to step. Okay, I'll collapse it and I'll drag it below these two fields to have these two fields in our second step. Okay, let's rename our second step. I'll expand this field and I'll rename it to contact information. And you'll see that our second step has been renamed accordingly. I'll collapse it again. And let's say in our third step we want to have the message only. I'll expand this step field and I'll rename it to your message. Okay, now we have a basic form which has three steps. In the first step, we are asking the user for their name, first and last. In the second step, we are asking the user for their contact information, which is email and phone. And in the third step, they'll enter the message. You can add as many fields as you want to your form and you can have as many steps as you want. So I'll stick to a basic form for the sake of this tutorial. Now let's come to our step settings. When you expand this basic information, you can rename your next and previous button. Let's say for the next button, I don't want the label to be next. Rather, I want it to be proceed. I'll write it here. 
and you'll see that it has been updated accordingly. I'll rename it to next again to keep it default and this is where you choose the icon for the step currently the default setting is step number not the icon so I'll scroll down and in the step settings this is where you choose the type of the step currently the number and text is selected let us change it to icon and you'll see that we have one icon for every step for first for second and for third let's change it to only number and you'll see that the text is gone the label we gave to the text and we only have the step number and we can also have a progress bar you see that we are in the first step so the progress is 33 percent in the second it will be 66 and so on you can have it number in text which is default or icon in text now this one looks cool you can change the shape of the icon outline let's say we want it to be square or rounded so I'll keep it to circle default I'll come back to form fields and expand this and let's say I want to change this icon this is where I'll do it I can choose any icon from here let's say for start I choose this icon and click insert and you'll see that we have changed our icon I'll change it back to the default to keep things synchronized okay so we have created our steps you can do the same with these steps you can change the label next and previous you can choose an input size small medium large extra small let's keep it to default the labels are currently shown you can hide them and you can toggle this to show the required mark expand this tab buttons these are the step buttons and while creating the tutorial for single step form I skip this section and I mentioned that we'll see this in later video this is where you enter the default text for your next and previous buttons and your submit button as well let me change it to submit and you'll see that the last step will say submit instead of send you can choose an icon as well for submit button let's say the finish icon and click insert okay now we have successfully created a form with all the steps in it you can style the steps from here go to styles tab I'll collapse this tab form and expand this tab steps you can change the typography spacing icon size according to you here we have three states inactive active and completed so this one is active this one is inactive when we have not completed any step yet so we'll see how that looks you can change the stylings from here the primary and the secondary color this is where you choose the divider width and you'll see that our divider is getting stronger let's decrease it to default and you can choose a divider gap as well and you'll see that the gap is increasing okay let's now update the changes and see how our forms look on the live website I'll preview the changes I'll scroll down and this is our form I have not changed the colors etc so you can always work them out according to you let's fill it up and see how the steps work I'll click next and you'll see that the first step is completed and we are on our second step I'll add a dummy email here and a dummy phone number and now you'll see that you have two buttons you can either go to the next step or to the previous step and if you go to the previous step you will not lose this data if I go to the previous step I have this data already present and if I click next again I will have the data entered so let's click next again and you'll see that this time we don't have a next button as it is our last step rather we have the submit button and this is the icon I set for submit button and then you can either go to previous step or submit the form let's submit it and the form has been submitted so this is how you create a multi-step form in Elementor. If you have any question you can ping me up in the comment section. If you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it to receive the notifications of every new video uploaded so that you don't miss any video of the series. Thank you and see you in the next video.